What started out as a joke has morphed into such a real concern that some counties in Nevada are taking it very seriously, making emergency plans for untold number of visitors or invaders next month. It has to do with a plan to break into one of the U.S. military's most heavily guarded facilities, which some people contend is doing work that is literally out of this world. Here is national correspondent William Lajeunesse. I don't think anybody could ever prepare for anything like this, but we're doing our absolute best. But for many in rural Nevada, it's not good enough. I live out there. I'm just so scared of fire. The event that may or may not happen next month is indeed one of a kind. Storm Area 51 began as an internet joke, an invitation to break into a top secret Air Force facility, rumored to hold aliens and government secrets about UFOs. But more than two million RSVP'd. Entrepreneurs like Connie West, owner of the only hotel and restaurant for 50 miles, sees a gold mine. Not quite sure exactly where we're going to tweak the stage at. We do have an idea of where we're going to put the vendors. We don't know what to plan for. We're only planning for the worst and hoping for the best. Lincoln County approved West's permit for a three-day music festival, but neighboring Nye County turned down a similar concert there. I have a duty to the public health and safety. I think that's uh, of utmost importance. The two counties together are larger than Connecticut. A single two-lane highway supports the area, along with a handful of gas stations and 184 hotel rooms. Both counties signed state of emergencies, fearing a traffic, cell phone, sanitation, and public safety nightmare. They say this is a non-drug, no drugs, no alcohol. Who are you trying to kid? Event supporters predict thousands, whether officials like it or not. Giving them a concert location is better than the alternative. What are you going to do for them if these people are wandering around all the desert? Taking a crap everywhere, dumping their garbage, setting fires. The website promises a pre-dawn raid September 20th to, quote, find the aliens. The Pentagon says it will defend the base. So the truth could be out there, but on this trip, Brett, they're unlikely to find it. We shall see. William, thank you.